Whoa, that was crazy. Welcome to my garage. Aren't I beautiful? Right real. Anyway, this is the tool factory. Let me call in the Oompa Loompas. Where are they? I don't know. I guess I'm going solo. No Oompa Loompas today. Anyway, remember this. So in the previous video, but the little notches that I made in it. Now I'm making the notches for the breed love. Um, let me zoom in, zoom, 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 zoom. That's that burr. It is in the drill press, and it's real loud now. Actually, it's not that loud, but it might be a little louder. Anyway, you should always wear safety goggles. So you don't uh, get nothing in your eye. And this is how you do it. You have to hold it real tight because it's a little more warm around you. Like it's a right there. And you just kind of carve it into it. Obviously, I'm not going to go over how I made this little jig here because I always want to make the same jig that I got. It doesn't make any sense. You do this many ways. See, it's starting to cut the hoops. Where's my oh, there it is. It's starting to cut the uh, hole. It takes a while. I only have 40 of them to do. Uh, less than that, but anyway, let's move it back. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you can use a file. There's my picture here. Use a file to okay, do that. Anyway, you can use a file to do that too. An ARM file to do it as well. I'm going to turn off the camera and do a few of these and then i got to clean the house and all that good stuff and then I'll be back in the video da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, I have completed the tool it is done so now I can test it on the guitar the breed love there we are. Looks like all the fret bars are in the slots. All snug. Anyway, um, so that's going to help me to level the neck after I get the strings off. And, uh, and then I can level the uh, frets. Cool, huh? Next, we'll go through the process of taking strings off. De-stringing. Fun stuff. Hello. <clears throat> Before I uh, change the strings, or take the strings off rather, I should uh, play the guitar and show you a couple things. Here's a G chord. <laughs> Anyway, um, one of the issues here is if you take in, if you pluck the uh, high E, or eh, a little bit sharp, depending on what you do. Anyway, and then you go to the G position on the E string, and we're going sharp. And I'm not pressing any harder than I need to. So, that's not even the biggest deal. Go to the E. Well, stop talking. E. Okay. Go to the G position. Of course, you can't test the G position on the E string with it set on a guitar. So here's a little trick for you. Press the button, if you have the option, to test bass for bass guitar tuning. Believe me, that is uh, truly where it's at. Way sharp. So I can op do the open E and go pretty much right back to where it was as far as guitar goes. 
Dang it. There we go. A little flat. It settles into straight up. So anyway, a um, little disturbing that the intonation would be that far off. And that is intonation. This is the octave of the E. Put it back on guitar. Four octave of the E. sharp as well so that's one of the reasons I want to fix the frets on this and I also want to set the action as soon as it gets unblurry at the nut because this seems awfully high at the nut of course we put some nut juice on it clean it all up but I figured I better pull that out oops and play the guitar so that uh, we could have what is that that's in the picture right now? That's oh, that's the guitar. Yep. Zoom out. I was like, wow, what the hell is that? Anyway, um, so next we'll be taking the strings off, but uh, I'm going to Costco first. So we'll see what the hell happens. Toodly loodly loodly loos until I take the strings off. Okie dokie, it is a uh, string removal time. I went ahead and removed all the strings except for one so I can show how uh, I remove strings on this particular guitar. And I've never removed strings on this kind of guitar before, um, this uh, Breed Love. And um, the reason I'm illustrating this is because when it comes to working on guitars, it's best to use your best common sense. And me, at this point, with this one, my common sense tells me to do it thusly. I always, of course, lower the string. because the strings come through the back of the bridge up over the saddle and on down the line I want to cut this as close to this edge as I possibly can so I'm not pulling the string out and taking a chance on gouging the, the uh, dealio over there so make sure I hold the snippers nice and tight cut it and I take this Part of the string, I unwrap it. I know you can't see it right now, but that's okay. Just unwrap the wounds. The first thing I do to avoid trouble is I wrap the string up so I don't end up putting an eye out or losing it on the carpet. And this was be hard, hard to lose, kind of big, but the lower finder strings at the bottom easier to lose. So then I work this gizmo out of there. Make sure I'm holding on to the tip. And then I pull it completely out. Damage free. Anyway, so that's that part. Important when you have this, because I don't think I've ever really seen or paid much attention to any other guitar that has acoustic anyway that has the pull through bridge as opposed to the pegs that go on the bridge to hold the string in. Um, I actually like this idea much better. Uh, anyway, bridge, yeah. Saddle can straight out of there. Make sure you don't lose that unit. Hello, here it is. Remember the tool we made? There it is, showing the, uh, kind of hard to see, just a little tiny bit of relief left in it with all the string tension off. Relief is the bowing this way. 
Um, so I'm going to try to take that out with this wrench and this particular guitar. The hole is in here. And to take relief out, you tighten it. Typically. I'm not going to tell you which way to turn on your guitar because I don't know your guitar. I only know my guitar. And that looks like it did it there. It's good to let it uh, settle. <clears throat> Crew day is particularly humid this weekend in my neighborhood, so I'm going to leave that alone. And the next video will be leveling the frets, maybe. We'll see. We might not uh, do that next. But just real quick, here are the strings that uh, are recommended for this guitar. But, and people are going to yell at me, these are the strings I'm going to put on it. They're essentially one gauge lighter. These are 1253s. These are 1152s. And the reason I'm doing this is so that uh, it'll be a little easier on my daughter's hands. Really not supposed to waver from the manufacturer's recommended string size. And if you look, you got 12, 11, 16, 15, um, 23, or 24, 23, 32, 32 the same, 42, 42 the same, and then 53, 52. So, it's not that big of a difference. It's not like I'm putting super slinkies on the thing. Um, so, with that, we'll end this video, and this will be the end of this portion of the, uh, of the repair until I um, actually start showing the, the fret refiling. And I'll explain this unit right here. The homemade tool. Homemade fret file. It's kind of an ominous looking contraption, but I had to do it. Anyway, take care for now. See you later.